The man who became a global figure of greed after hiking the price of a life-saving drug by 5,000% in the US may have just met his match. A group of school students in Australia has replicated a key ingredient in the medicine for just $2. Daraprim is a drug used to treat malaria. It was a lot of trial and error, the process. We had to repeat a lot of the reactions and try different reaction conditions in order to see which materials and which things would react to make the Daraprim. But um, yes, it was a roller coaster of emotions sometimes. I think because we're high school students, they're able to relate to a larger audience, able to relate to the general public, and shows that even ordinary high school students like us are able to make this drug for a pretty low price. The WHO lists Daraprim as an essential medicine. In a bid to show the drug's inflated cost in the US, the school students were guided in their experiments by researchers at Sydney University. We're open source malaria. We're trying to find new medicines for this terrible disease that kills about 2,000 people every day, many of them children. So what we're doing is taking starting points from the big pharmaceutical companies and improving those to be drug candidates. Last year, US entrepreneur Martin Schicrelli sparked international outrage after he multiplied the price of the drug in the US from around $13 to $750. In a series of tweets, the so-called bad boy of Big Pharma initially mocked the students, but was later more gracious, congratulating them in a short YouTube clip.